she'd put any football manager to shame. Mother of four, Jo Dyson, took over her son's failing club and turned it into a successful winning team. Yes, none of the players' dads were prepared to take on the under-12s after they suffered defeat after defeat. So what do you do? Well, Jo stepped in and managed to turn the club's fortunes around. Tom Savides has been to meet her. Let's go, look up, look up, pass it. You're going to be hungry. You've got to be that hungry too. You've got to fill it in your belly, yeah? You've got to release it. Help him out. Strong up, words of encouragement from the sidelines. Jo Dyson shouts out orders to her players on the pitch. Josh, you have two valuable wingers over here. Josh is available. The mother of four from Basildon became the manager of her son's football team as no one else wanted the job, not even the dads. After a string of defeats, the club was struggling to survive. But now Forest Glade FC are going from strength to strength, having just topped the South End League Division B for under 12s. So what is the secret of Joe's success? Patience. Be prepared for your hair to curl when it gets wet. Uh, make sure your nails are always done. I always turn up, my makeup, my nails, my Chanel on. <laughs> no, but it's, it's, um, it's dealing with people. Because some people don't realise the amount of hard work that goes in to running a team. England in the World Cup, obviously, this summer. Did you want me? <laughs> Did they well, need me? <laughs> any, any tips for the England manager, perhaps, from a, a woman? I'll wait till I get there. <laughs> Joe's son Davis is in the squad, so what's it like having your mum bark orders on the pitch as well as at home? Well, if it was someone else, I wouldn't have argued at them and stuff because, well, that's what mums and sons and daughters do and stuff. So I have to put up with it. <laughs> A few of your heads went down. Jo is an actor by trade, but these days her stage is the pitch. And there's nothing panto about her coaching abilities. She explains it more than men, like she teaches it better. She's like really good at tactics and that. My mum shouts at me all the time anyway, so... Look up, Shane, look up, come round! Yeah, yeah, no sweat. If she can do it, so can I. No, 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 I said down the wing, the wing, no, the other wing, no, the other one. No, get by the goal, get by the goal! Tom Savides in Basildon for Meridian tonight. Tom, that was absolutely pathetic. Yeah, Portsmouth should I, sign him. I was just thinking if Avril Grant doesn't stay, we'll have Joe, we won't have Tom. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying nothing because <laughs> I don't really know an awful lot about football. Oh. But, Joe, you're glamorous and you're doing a great job. Well done to you. Joe Dyson. Sounds like a pretty standard name for the manager of an under-12s football team, except when you realise that this Joe spells her name without an E. Well, five years ago, she knew nothing about the beautiful game, but that didn't stop her taking on her son's failing team when the previous coach quit. And this season, well, they only went and won the league. Tom Barton's been to meet her. Five years ago, this team was an abject failure. They lost 17 games out of 20 and came bottom of their league. This season, Forest Glade under-12s from Billericay in Essex smashed to the top of the South End District Division without losing a match. You're playing it down the middle. Look up, look up. And it's all thanks to their fiery new manager. My son's manager was going to leave the team and I kind of like turned up one day and listened to all the parents mumbling about we're going to lose their manager who's going to take over and automatically presumed it would be one of the dads. Uh, none, none of them offered so I thought I know what I'll do. I'll say if the worst comes to the worst I will and uh, you know someone will say oh she can't do it she's a woman and someone will step in but unfortunately I said I will and they all went and that was it, the job was mine. <laughs> How are you getting stuck till again? Keep it wide. Joe spent the next few years building up a string of FA coaching qualifications. And with this season's success, it's paid off. Do you think you maybe bring something different that uh, yes. a guy wouldn't bring? I do, yeah. Um, I'm very hands-on with the boys. Um, I treat every player as an individual. Uh, they, like, obviously, they come from individual backgrounds and they need sometimes, some of them need a bit more nurturing than others. You'd think Joe's nurturing would extend furthest to her own son. He begs to differ. Well, she has to really pick on me because I'm her son and stuff, and it's, if she does it on them, the parents be angry and everything. But, yeah, she does whinge at me a lot. She says that whinge back, though. So what do the other boys make of having the league's only female manager? I thought that she wouldn't be that good, but she's actually uh, proved me wrong. 
and actually the best ca uh, coach I've ever seen. Well, she's more friendly than other, uh, other co coaches. She like, inspires everybody to like, go and score some more goals. Forest Glade will play in a higher division next season. This determined soccer mum putting all the footy dads to shame. Tom Barton, Anglia News at Billericay in Essex. And you can see more about Jo and her wonder squad on our website, www.itv.com forward slash Anglia. And there's lots of other items there as well from the programme.